Hello everybody. BMB 13 BMB. Hope everybody's having a really nice day. Um, this review today is going to be for Evolve. Evolve, the manufacturers of the famous Darwin. Um, Brandon and the boys of Evolve. I mean, it's been out for a little while. I just haven't been able, haven't been got a review of it yet. But today's review is going to be of the kick. That is the kick. Nice little piece of electronics. Um, the little blue potentiometer there adjusts the wattage. The little spring that you kind of see sticking out that must contact the ground on your device in order to make this work um there's a normal silver bullet as you put it in the silver bullet the spring kind of hangs out just a little bit you got to push the spring in to get it to slide into the device the spring is actually the ground circuit to make it work, um, the, Dar the kick is basically a downsize of the Darwin. Um, it's a wattage adjustable device, uh, but it only goes up to 10 watts, where the Darwin goes up to 12. Uh, what the kick also has is short circuit protection, overload protection. Um, reverse polarity protection. Uh, so basically, it's kind of making your mod a pretty safe little unit by using it. Um, what it is is you adjust, I think it's from three, four watts up to 10 watts or 3.2 watts up to 10 watts. It's designed to be used with 1.3 ohm up to 3. 3 ohm, I'm pretty sure it is. Work with dual coils, single coils. Um, the advantage to the kick is just like the uh, Darwin. Once you find your sweet spot, whether it's 6 watts, 7 watts, 8 watts, 10 watts, wherever you like it, you basically then just put it in your device, leave it, um, put a 1.5 ohm atomizer, cardamizer on it, vape, and it it will work. Um, you can then you can screw it off and go to like a three ohm, and it will keep your sweet spot exactly the same as the way the Darwin works. Um, what's nice about it is it's not that expensive at all. Uh, Brandon wanted to make it so that, you know, it's pretty reasonable. The problem is those stupid center pins. Um, so you can basically screw on whatever you want whatever resistance you decide to use on it and it will work that's in a uh, kick with this I mean in a silver bullet with the sleeve to extend it so you can run an 18650 battery in it this is just a normal silver bullet with an 18 uh, 490 LR in it it is designed to run with an IMR battery um, to give the amperage that it needs. Here's my precise uh, 18500 with an 18350 battery in it. No, actually, it's got an 18500 battery in it. So I got to change the battery um, because it takes up 15 millimeters of space. You have to have the right battery in the device. Um, because you have to give it the extra space. So, you know, because this is an 18500 
precise. Now you put an 18350 in it. Oops, wrong battery. I guess I should have been prepared. Eh? Sorry, people. I grabbed the wrong battery. Um, you need to have the right, you know, a shorter battery, which is 15 millimeters difference. And then you can drop it in basically any tube mod. The better the tube mod, the better it works. This is set at 8 watts um, on a 1.5 LR. People say they don't work, that they're kind of lazy, but. I find it does work better in the precise than it works in the silver bullet. Um, I just think because there's not as, you know, there's not as much free space. The silver bullet seems to have a little bit more space in it than the precise does. I own two of them. Um, very reasonable priced unit. I think they're 40 to 50 bucks, something like that. Um, there's really nothing to break in them. Like here's the one with the extension. Same thing. You know, it's just this way you can run an 18650 battery in a silver bullet. Same thing, spring sticks out, so you're just going to make sure the spring is pushed in. Then you drop it in the device. Again, on a dual coil in a big daddy vapor stainless steel tank with the window. Um, I'm quite impressed with the kick for what it is. I also have a P18 Precise as well. It's out being um, upgraded at Super T right now. Um, you know, so if you always wanted power wattage regulated device not a power voltage regulated device the uh, but you know couldn't get your hands on a Darwin or didn't want to spend the money for a Darwin the kick is the way to go um, to get the experience if you want to stay to a tube mod so you know Thank, thank you, Brandon. Thank you, everybody at Evolve, for making a nice little piece. If you like this video, leave comments down below, reviews. Um, thank you very much. Have a day, Pappy.